quick, say something snorty. Ah, screw it. Ah, screw it. It's already too late. Hey, everybody, this is Lady Rock. You're just in time for Let's Play Su uh, Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I almost said Super Legends of Zelda, which would have been cool. Um, anyway, in the last episode, we made our way up into Hyrule and got an, an egg before we get caught. Got an egg from Malin, which... Oh, just in time, hat. Just in time for, uh... Us to hack. Look, there's Mountain right there sitting waiting for us. <laughs> oh, just waiting anyway. And now we gotta climb up all this way again, cause. Yeah. Anyway. Here's that double sun again. <laughs> um. Yeah. Problems with graphics cards. Uh, okay, so. Anyway, with all that, with all that said, let's. Move on to the next. Let's move on, I guess. Um, so yeah, in case you weren't here for the last episode, we had to make our way into the castle via Solid Snake style, minus the cardboard box. <laughs> so yeah, basically we just had to sneak away in. Actually, come think of it, I think this is older than Solid Snake. I'm not sure if it's old. I don't think it's older than the Metal Gear games in general, but. I think the Metal Gear Solid games it is. I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway. Um. I don't know when they first came out. <coughs> but anyway, after waiting a full night and day, the egg will finally hack into a chicken. And all we gotta do is target him. What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shot out around here? Can't talk to him. Hello, new might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Long Long Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malin is looking for me? I'm gonna catch from her now. Must have bad, leaving Malin behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> oh, I just think that's kind of funny there. Anyway, what we need to do now is we need to push these... No, we need to push, not climb. One problem with these controls is... is that you so much as walk up against it, it's going to flicker, flip between, and it gets kind of a little... Just, just got to take your time. Anyway, what we want to push these two, these two boxes down this path into uh, water here. I believe... Oh no, we can't make it that far. Eh, thought we could. That was wrong. Um. And it's already getting night, night again. I will say, I will say one of the major complaints, or one of my major complaints about this game, is it goes from day to night a little too fast. I mean, you really don't get a whole lot of, chance, you don't really get a whole lot of time to enjoy either one. Now, actually, if I'm... Okay, so... There we go. That's how we do it. And you just kind of... Enter. And you start probably one of the most annoying parts of this game. Being around these guards. No, I can't see myself. Ah! I almost got caught. What? Okay. Um. I don't tell them we have to do that during the day, do we? I don't, remember, I don't remember those guards there whenever I went through it. Yeah, you can't. You can't get past those guards. Um. We can't open that door. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to wait for daytime. I'll see you guys in a minute. And with the power rating, it's suddenly daytime, and the guards are gone. Well, kind of. Here we have these guards, and anyone who's played, anyone who's played a Zelda game after this, pretty much, I think, I think anything but Twilight Princess, 
I already know the, what this is gonna portray, portray, portain, whatever that big word is. Um, basically, we're just gonna have to sneak past these guys and wait for them to. Oh, easy. Now this one, this one's probably the easiest one if you know how to use the controls. But we just basically just walk across here, fall down, climb up. I don't think the guard can see you if you're hanging, hanging, which is kind of a little weird. They didn't see a kid's feet dangling from the rafters. But uh, no, I guess it's Nintendo technology, or technology at the time. Excuse me, not. Yeah, it's Nintendo technology, of course. <laughs> no, if it was Nintendo technology, it'd be like... Shh, I don't know, some motion-controlled, waggling thing. <laughs> which, I, which I don't mind that. I don't mind that so much. I actually like the Wii a lot. And again, I don't think I know a single... Uh, I, don't, I don't think I know a single Nintendo fanboy that doesn't like the Wii, the Wii as a concept. The only problem is that there's no games for it. Just, they have Nintendo's games and no one else wanted to make games for them. For whatever reason, I guess, because no one knew how to handle the technology. Anyway, now that we're done with all that, we can go through the castle, we can go through the courtyard, and actually, can you check these? No, I can't. Um, and before we talk, before we go and talk to the Princess Zelda, let's go ahead and look through these, through these, uh, doors. Do you see anything in those pictures that looks oddly familiar? Perhaps Mario the Princess, perhaps? Or Princess Peach, anyway. <laughs> so he's calling her the Princess. And you look over there, uh, you see Luigi, you can see Bowser's picture. Over here, I think you see some other characters from a, a thing. Oh, no, you don't. Never mind. <coughs> yeah, I always liked that. I always thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, whenever you're ready, you just go talk to the Princess Zelda. Who, who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that a fairy? Yeah. Then are you are you from the forest? Then then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Hmm. Spiritual stone of the forest would be would be green, wouldn't it? Um, actually, I wonder what happens if we said no. Well, that's odd. I thought you might be the one from my dream. Tell me the truth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and she's all happy. Yay. In the dream, dark storm clouds are building over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly a ray of light shot out the forest. Shot out the forest and part of the clouds and lit up the ground. I turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. Yeah, that'll be us. And this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly <coughs> introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link? Strange. Sounds somehow familiar. I'd hope so after... Let's see, four games before this, I think? And I'm not counting the crappy CDI games. Okay then, Link. I'm gonna tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please, keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. Everything goes like this. Oh boy, another legend. Well, this is Legend of Zelda. <laughs> the three goddesses hit the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. Someone with a righteous heart makes a wish. It will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. That's good. Someone with an evil mind has his wish granted. The world will be consumed by evil. That's what has been told. 
Hmm. So the ancient cities is built to the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Well, this was a short cutscene. I believe that's the last scene like that we'll see for a while. For a while, at least. <coughs> this is just going to be your standard cutscene affairs. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with the stone wall called the Door of Time. In order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Oh! Title drop! Title drop! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes. I don't want to have to hear that again. That's great. I have to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. Hmm. Just like any other princess. Well, at least it seems like that in any other story. Another element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. We look through the window? Uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> and look, it's Ganondorf! Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That's Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert part of the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he's not sincere. Like that, no oh, skin like that, I doubt you would be. <laughs> oh, that kind of sounded a little racist, didn't it? Yeah. Well, sorry, oh, that didn't, yeah, it came out wrong. Anyway, <clears throat> happened, did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have he must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No no. The entire world. Link. Now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. I don't believe you. Despite the great Deku tree said so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna hit okay. Thank you. I, I'm afraid I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. Let's not let Gandalf get the Triforce. I'll protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. You shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Gandalf does, and then defeat him. Oh, and one more thing. Take this letter, I'm sure it'll be helpful to you. As you can tell, the letter magically replaces the chicken. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <coughs> um, again, it's telling us stuff where I know how to use the items or some to see and then use them. Right there, oh crap, it's a nut. Oh crap, it's a... Crap, I can't think of anything to say now. Damn it. I am Impo, the Shikaz. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy, and you are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. <coughs> this is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There's mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Here we got our first instance of a melody. As you can tell, using the, uh, the, uh, C buttons, you pretty much just use those to make the song. Actually, I don't think I've shown off how to, how to properly use Ocarina yet. <laughs> well, I guess now would be any time. Um, since you actually have a song, we can actually... This is gonna, hap this is gonna happen just by the right time we play a new song. Only the first time. Thankfully. 
I mean, it's not, it's not like it's going to be like Twilight Princess, where it's like every time you load up the game, it's going to tell you when you pick up a rupee for the first time. Yeah, that was, that was annoying. That was like the one annoying thing in Twilight Princess that I couldn't stand. <coughs> okay, you brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. Build a spiritual stone of fire. What would you call a place Death Mountain? At the foot of Death Mountain, you'll find my village, Kakirko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up to Death Mountain. I've heard it pronounced Kakariko, but I grew up almost all my life, up until like, a couple, like two or three years ago, saying Kakiriko. No one ever corrected me, so it's just going to be Kakiriko for me. I'm sorry, it's kind of like a tomato tomato sort of thing. So I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only your royal family members are allowed to learn this song. I don't think she's a family member, though. So how'd she know? Anyway, remember, and you'll, and you'll prove your connection to the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones, alright? We're counting on you. And... Ninja. <laughs> One of the things I liked about the she uh, Sheikah is that they had the, uh, nin those ninja abilities. <coughs> But anyway, instead of heading over there real quick, we're gonna actually head over to, uh. Crap, what's it called? Kokiri. Uh. Kokiri Forests first. But we're not gonna do that quite yet. We're gonna do that in the next episode, because right now we're running out of time. Um. Oh, running out of time, I don't wanna say. But anyway. So, real quick, before we end the video off, I'm gonna go ahead and show off the, uh. Ocarina. As you can see, the musical notes don't pop up. So you kind of have to memorize the song by heart and then just play it. If you mess up somewhere, you just basically just start over. Um, and that's what happens when you play a song without a cutscene. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm going to end the video off here for now. So in the next episode, <coughs> we're going to be heading into the for into the uh, back in the. Uh, Kokiri Forest to get something that we actually couldn't get up until this point. So, until then, I'll see you guys later.